Theme goes with everything. Hey Sloan, good morning. Nice good to have you here. To you. Why did you decide? What was the motivating factor for you to go green inside in your life? You know, this book began for me when I watched my son lying in the ICU with an IV drip of steroids attached to his arm. He was three years old, five years ago, and his heart was racing out of his chest one day, coughing repeatedly. We rushed him to the emergency room where he literally spent two nights in the hospital fighting for every breath. The doctors told us he had something called reactive airways disease or asthma. Right. So we asked a lot of questions. We didn't get a lot of good answers. But did any of the doctors actually say to you, Sloan, the reason your son has this is because of problems with products inside your house? I mean, you know better. That's not what doctors are going to tell you. They're going to give you the steroid to keep him from getting asthma again. Or when he gets an attack, they give you a lot of medication. They don't talk a lot about cause or prevention. So, so, so then you connected the dots or just decided it'd be better to be safe than sorry? Well, you know, I've been a consumer reporter for 15 years. I know how to ask a good question. Plus, I'm a mom, so I asked my parents, my in-laws, going back four generations, no asthma. We realized it couldn't be genetic. It had to be environmental. So, so your advice to some people now is in bits and pieces, they should also go green. And I want to mention something right off the bat here. Your husband runs the largest natural nutrition products company in the United States. So what do you say to people who say, sure, she wants us to go green and buy these products. It's the family business. I say for us, this is a family mission. We live it, we breathe it every single day. And boy, when you've watched a sick child and you realize there are links between what's going on with him and what you're doing in your own home, if you're a mother, you know you are running to make changes. You, put, you made yourself a guinea pig of sorts. You went through an extensive blood test supervised by the Harvard School of Public Health. What were you looking for? What'd you find? I had 17 vials of blood drawn, flown to British Columbia. In fact, supervised by Harvard, we found a lot of chemicals. DDT, PCBs, flame retardant, bisphenol A, plasticizers, all kinds of things. Did they say that you're an average person in that regard, that and most people have this stuff in, in their blood? In fact, in some chemicals, I had lower levels. And of course, I attribute that to my lifestyle. But what it shows us, the lesson that I wanted readers to see is we have it all in us. But here are the things. There are simple steps you can take to minimize exposure, and that's what this but book is about. But even with that stuff in your blood, there, there is no way to say that has made anyone unhealthy, even your son. The CDC, which is conducting a similar series of tests, released this statement. The number or sum of chemicals detected in the blood and urine of an individual may not be a useful measure for assessing a person's health. We don't know what the presence of most chemicals means. It's the concentrations or amount in the blood that determines whether a particular chemical has a health effect. And I say the CDC brings up a good point. We really don't know. That's the bottom line. But here's what we do know. In animal studies at high doses, many of these chemicals have shown to be harmful. Of the top 3,000 selling chemicals in this country, only 7% have full toxicity information. So what I say is better safe than sorry. My grandmother taught me that. And here's the drill. Do you really want to subject your children and your family to We get back to, to the safer sorry, th with safer sorry thing. So were you ever able to say, okay, this is in my blood, so here's a product in my home that might be the cause. Well, I say start with cleaning products. I say next, take a look in your kitchen, what you're feeding your children, what they're drinking. Go to your bathroom, take a look at your personal care items. Many of these things are contributing to the chemical load in our bloodstream. We, you know, we obviously, we, we deal with a lot of these products in our daily lives, and we reached out to some of the manufacturers and companies that supply these products. They also, also issued a statement. They said, safety is the highest priority for all items and their research thoroughly. They must pass in government regulations even before they hit the shelves. Information about product safety is readily available on each website. Did you go in and look at some of those websites? Uh, of course, I've looked at all of them, and here's the drill. The manufacturers are voluntarily asked to ensure the safety of these products. The government is not able to test all of these products. So here's the thing. You have to decide, and you, Matt, has to decide, are you willing to take the manufacturer's insurances that these things are safe? Are you, are you suggesting I go in and wipe the cabinets clean and start with all new products? A hundred percent. I am not saying that. So here's the thing. I don't live in a log cabin. I don't bake my own bread. I wear leather shoes. I happen to not be wearing them today, but I have been known to wear them. I am as green as I can be. I make simple choices day by day. I ask people one a day, one a month. You just really go day by day trying to make better choices. You don't clean your medicine chest out. When you go to the store to make choices, you want to make more informed, safer choices. That's what it's all about. Easy. You don't have to give up 
up convenience. You don't want to give up cost. You really want to even think about family fun. I, I, day by day, you can be better. I don't want to let you go without asking the, the obvious question. How's your son's health today after you've made some of these changes? Well, it has been 1,992 days since I had to watch my son struggle for every breath in the ICU. I am truly grateful as a mother for every single one of those days. And of course, I attribute that joy to the choices and the lifestyle choices that I've made in my life. And I want to show other parents that they can make those same choices and they don't have to go through all the crazy research and grief. I'm hoping that in this book I'm showing simple steps to a healthier life. I'm glad you said, I don't want to give 17 vials of blood. Okay. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> okay, That's kidding. the thing. The CDC did it for <laughs> you, Matt. Sloan Barnett. Sloan, thanks very much. Matt, thank you. You can read an excerpt from Green Goes With Everything and the full statements from each of the associations I just talked about. I'm going to put them on our website at today's show. Show.com.